During a live broadcast on Channel 4 News, while journalist Sue Turton was reporting on the flooding, a local resident groped her in front of the entire audience. Oh, it's very much a different picture, though, in the southwest of Oxford, where the swift currents have flooded out the countryside there. People have been kept below water. And basically, the, the worry is here that the... Britain's Got Talent jury member Simon Cowell did a surprising act in one of the episodes of the show, where he kissed his fellow jury member Amanda Holden right in that spot. Kiss my ass! Contestant Anna Kasprak was so happy to qualify for the next round in front of the jury that she didn't notice the pit separating the stage from the jury and fell. You did <laughs> During the news bulletin, this reporter interrupted the announcer presenting the news from the studio, but the latter couldn't stand it and gave him the middle finger live, which was inappropriate. На рабочем месте нелегалов. Здравствуйте, Настя. Кто были эти люди? Какое наказание им грозит и какова их дальнейшая судьба? Коллеги, вот у меня за спиной сейчас как раз тот самый дом. Ну что нам удалось уже? It seems that one of the cast of the Channel 7 news team was too infatuated by model Miranda Kerr's daring photos that he forgot he was live. But he then hid the photos and faced the camera. Late last year, and sometimes this takes up to uh, you know six to nine months before they actually see that effect. All right, Martin, thanks for that. Six to nine months before they actually see that effect. It seems that the BBC News reporter forgot that she was on a live broadcast, as she was not ready and fixing her hair until the team interrupted her interview. Correspondent Jane Hill, who's outside the police station in Portamao for us this morning. Uh, good morning to you. Jane? No, I don't, think, uh, I don't think Jane's ready for us. Just a moment. We'll right. This anchor didn't know she was on a TV show as she fell to the ground live. How much time? Oh, all the time in the world. And TV presenter gets an embarrassing prank on live air with this substance put on his face. Hey, well deserved. Here we go, day right there, buddy. My makeup. Nice. <laughs> Your pocket square. Use it. <laughs> Finally, a use for the square. Never. I would never ruin such a thing. There you go. <laughs> this man carried this reporter who was covering sports news and dropped her to the ground, and that was broadcast live on TV. Hey, um, we're gonna step here. We're gonna simple throw. <laughs> It seems that this training is strange and too inappropriate to be shown on television, which was done by the news presenters as well as this reporter at the gym. Just rule of shake weight, six inches from the face. Yes. Yes. You don't want to bop yourself. <laughs> no, and I, I say that is a good tip um, in, in general, just six inches from the face at all times. Safety first. You don't want to hit yourself in the face with it, not even <laughs> the little white ones. It's true, trust me. When we come back, we are going to take you through more. Kuwait TV announcer fell right into a puddle of water while explaining one of the games in the competition program. During this celebration on a live TV show, this dancer fell to the floor while coming down the stairs. Someone tried to interrupt journalist Darla Miles when she was reporting in the crowd, but her reaction was shocking as she stopped the man who tried to interrupt her. To the height of the rush hour commute and there's going to be lots more confusion until this whole thing is wrapped up. This reporter made fun of the Tiger Cubs, but they were able to cause him harm on the live broadcast. The big problem they've got is with names. They've called the... Ah! <laughs> the BBC broadcaster was caught while opening his mouth like this and this was inappropriate to be shown on the live broadcast. What were you doing, Ben Brown? And there's a special affection for the bag. Oh, put out there. <laughs> no. Reporter Katya Like apparently tried to stay put to comment on the news, but was attacked by an insect that made her lose her calm. Gotta stop clicking them. <laughs> okay, nope, not doing it. <laughs> This man was speaking live, but a plastic bag ran into his face and put him in an awkward position. Um, and as a result, it does take quite a long time to make change, even with the best will in the world. 
Whoa. Jimmy Fallon wanted to celebrate during the 2009 Emmy Awards, but he tripped into this ginormous crowd. Everybody ready to party. Ow, 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 my back. I just hear myself. Stop the music. Stop it. You can edit all this out. If you like the video, support us by liking the video and subscribing to the channel, as this is a great honor for us. The Sudanese broadcaster, the beautiful Loshi El Mubarak, appeared live in these inappropriate clothes, which pissed off the audience watching her. ولحد هنا مشاهدينا وصلنا لختام حلقتنا لهذا اليوم اللي هو أول أيام عيد الفطر المبارك حنستنى لسه المشاركات بتاعتكم في البوست على صفحة القناة في الفيسبوك حنستنى من This weather reporter tried to show off his skills on air but failed miserably and fell to the ground in an awkward position This is 20th Street and that's what I thought would happen. I knew that would happen. I knew that would happen. That's how slick it is. The newsreader was caught lounging in the middle of the episode with his feet up on the table and scrolling his phone. The details. We know a number of cabinet ministers have gone into number 10. One of them is Nadine Doris, who came out just a few BBC viewers went hysterical when they saw this item in the background of a news interview and the video went viral. And also I was doing some work, some research work with Cardiff University. And that's unfortunately come to an end as well in December. This player tried to catch the ball, but he dropped Pakistani journalist Zainab Abbas to the ground. Zainab got up quickly and confirmed that she was fine while this was live. Paul is an absolute phenomenal spinner. This is coming straight at And this is coming straight at Clearly <laughs> back to you guys in the commentary box. <laughs> this announcer went back, but fell to the ground in an embarrassing and funny situation. While this reporter was reporting the news in a deserted place, this scary disguised man came out and scared the reporter into a hysterical state. It's hard to believe that we have sunshine in store for us in the long range after such a dreary day! Ah! 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 Okay, okay. Oh my god. This broadcaster was commenting during the live broadcast, and the channel team made him a scary prank. 16 minus 11. Minus 20! It's really low. It was coming right at me, Paul. Oh, you got it! You got it! These reporters were in the midst of this blizzard live, but a strong wind knocked them to the ground. Definitely what we call the, the hurricane roar, and that's what I'm always looking for. And it's almost a subsonic. Have you ever been to a concert? <laughs> this reporter was holding a cat and was petting it live. But the cat didn't like it, so it bit him in the foot, and the reporter shouted in pain. Wait, Placer County Animal Shelf. He's a very loving cat. <laughs> Hang on, please. Oh, yeah. Pinky. 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 Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <gasps> whoa. Whoa. Dude. I think he's caught up in this. Yeah, this can make this one a day. Ah! At the end of the video, do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell, as this helps us a lot. Thank you.